Advent by Patrick Kavanagh We have tested and tasted too much, lover. Through a chink too wide there comes in no wonder. But here, in the Advent-darkened room where the bl dry black bread and the sugarless tea of penance will charm back the luxury of a child's soul, we'll return to doom the knowledge we stole but could not use and the newness that was in every stale thing when we looked at it as children, the spirit-shocking wonder in a black, slanting Ulster hill, or the prophetic astonishment in the tedious talking of an old fool, will awake for us and bring you and me to the yard gate to watch the winds and the bog holes, cart tracks, old stables where time begins. Oh, after Christmas, we'll have no need to go searching for the difference that sets an old phrase burning. We'll hear it in the whispered argument of a churning, or in the streets where the village boys are lurching. And we'll hear it among decent men, too, who barrow dung in gardens under trees. Wherever life pours ordinary plenty, won't we be rich? my love and I, and God, we shall not ask for reason's payment. The why of heartbreaking strangeness in dreeping hedges, nor analyze God's breath in common statement. We have thrown into the dustbin the clay-minted wages of pleasure, knowledge, and the conscious hour, and Christ comes with the January flower.